Hi, my name is Dulcie Hill, and today I want to talk about relapsing, remitting, multiple sclerosis. When I was first diagnosed with that, my first feelings were, so what? So what? Um, I didn't have very severe symptoms. Uh, the first symptoms I had were the numbing feeling on your skin. It's called parathesia. It, it felt like it was burnt, and when I went and touched it, it, it hurt like crazy to touch. Um, so when she said I had MS, and my uh, MRI and my spinal tap confirmed it, I went back to playing softball. I went back to my happy little life, and I never considered what it meant. So uh, I went down to the library. Back in 1993, there wasn't a lot of information out there. So I went back to the library, and I checked out a book about MS, and I learned about it. And I remember sitting back in the old lazy boy, reading about my odds and crying. I was so where I spent so much time crying about what may or may not happen and how I didn't want my future to be what it said the odds are. Um, that is a terrible way to live. And, and now we have the computer and we have support groups and we have uh, the internet where we've got msfrontiers.org which is something you should uh, click on and bookmark because if you have relapsing remitting and you have a symptom you want it the quickest you want to know it's normal and then you want to know the quickest way to handle it and we have suggestions there under symptoms um, also, you want a support group, people who understand you. So I invite you to go to M um, Facebook, MS Frontiers. We have an emotional support group. It's called Personal Share. We have a medical support group um, where you can ask questions about different medications that they want you. To, they want to put you on. In fact, uh, msfrontiers.org has a medication page. And the very beginning of it lists the uh, how effective each medication is. And uh, thank goodness to the Multiple Sclerosis Society for enabling us to have a lot of information that we can use to put in a user-friendly, easy-to-understand form. So um, if you do that, we also have a specific group for primary progressive MS and for secondary progressive MS. There are special groups that deal with things that people with relapsing remitting don't deal with. And a lot of times uh, um, when you're around crippled people or, or people who are suffering a lot worse with MS than you are, it, it scares you. I didn't like sick people. Um, and I, everybody, when I had relapsing remitting, everybody I knew that had MS uh, was in a wheelchair, uh, had died. It, it just, it, whoa, I was, I cried about that. I said, I don't want to be like this, this, this person. They're, oh, I can tell you stories about that. And it, it's painful stories about you know, people I did not relate to at all. And that's okay. The longer you're with MS, the more you realize it's a stage. Just like when you go through stage and you're in puberty, you may think you're invincible and you do stupid things. When you have relapsing remitting, you don't take into account uh, the things that may not happen. You're so focused on, on doom you don't you don't consider uh, making sure you have disability insurance and and uh, maxing that out at work because you just don't think about these things. So uh, um, please subscribe to this uh, and and don't worry about things that may not happen tomorrow. There's there's a lot of people with secondary chronic progressive MS, which are our MS. Um, has morphed into after 10 to 20 years, uh, a lot of that, those people never get stuck in a wheelchair. 
um, so you can be able-bodied and, and have MS your whole life. I know a gal with MS that I work out at the gym. You'd never know. She's, she's healthy. She walks around. She's fine. It, it, she tells everybody she's got MS. And uh, um, she just, she doesn't handle it as well. Now, I have my walker. I have my AFO hooked on the outside of my leggings. I have uh, my, my, my T-shirt, MS Frontiers, there. And, and yet, I say, this is to help us. It's not, I'm not of this disease, but uh, I sure, uh, I don't wear it. And you shouldn't wear it either because it's not about you and it's not your fault you have this. So um, make a list of living every day as if it were your last. Travel, do things in your able body and, and don't put things off. Just enjoy life now for what it is. And uh, for those of us who can't stand being in this moment the way it is, jump into the next because the next moment can be better. So just, just enjoy life. God bless you. Please subscribe to this channel. Go to msfrontiers.org. These are t-shirts here. See, msfrontiers.org there and uh, um, join Facebook and uh, go to MS Frontiers. You'll see the different uh, uh, support groups and request to join, but definitely respond to the email that I'm going to send you to make sure you have MS, and I'll ask you a couple questions for the good of the group. Anyway, God bless you, and keep coming back.